Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. In this video, we will be looking at grade 5 mathematics sample items. This is what the ministry sent out to help PEP students prepare for the performance task that is coming up in a few days. We will not be looking at the entire paper, we'll actually be looking at the first question on the paper because from our experience, that question has given a lot of children a big challenge. And the question is not that difficult. Once the mystery on the question is cleared up, students will have no problem following. So let's look at that question. All right, so here we have the performance task paper, the instructions, always read the instructions first. Your class party. This task has three parts. Read the information in each part carefully. Answer all the questions in parts one, two, and three. Your class is planning a class party. You are to assist the teacher with purchasing food and drinks for the party. After completing a survey of your classmates, you discovered that most students in your class prefer to have pizza and juice. You are preparing for all 42 students in your class. Each student should be served at least one slice of pizza and one cup filled with juice. You notice this section here in bold? This is a very important piece of information and the ministry has assisted you by highlighting it. It means you need to pay keen attention to that information. The problem continues. Your task is to determine the number of pizzas needed, the amount of juice needed, the total cost of the pizza and juice. By the way, this problem is from the first administration of PEP for grade five. So let us look at our question now. Part one, the number of pizzas needed. Amazing Pizza sells pizzas of four different sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. The table below shows the total number of slices per pizza and the fraction of the class one pizza serves. Here we have the question. Question one, complete the table to show the fraction of the class each pizza serves. So this is our table. And the first thing that our students will ask us is, what kind of information is this? There's nothing that they have observed from the information given that the small size pizza having six slices will only serve one seventh of the class but the information is there and we're going to talk about it now what information do we have we learned that there were 42 students in the class and we also learned that each student is to get one slice of pizza if the small sized pizza has six slices and each student gets one slice of pizza. This is telling us that the six, the small size pizza is given can serve six students. So this simply means that where we have one on our, on our, in our fraction, it should be six. So right away, you can realize then that this must be the one seventh must be an equivalent fraction. So how do we get the denominator? It was given to us. We know that the total number of students in our class is 42. The small size pizza that has six slices would serve six students out of the entire class, out of 42. So that is what would be here. So in looking at this then, we can see that this 1 7th is the equivalent fraction in its simplest form for 6 over 42. Once a PEP student solves this part, realizes that 1 7th is an equivalent fraction of 6 over 42, 
the rest of it is clear. This simply means that this becomes 8 over 42, 10 over 42, 12 over 42. Because if the small pizza with 6 slices serve 6 out of the 42 students, the medium pizza with 8 slices will serve 8 out of the 42 students. The large pizza with 10 slices will serve 10 out of the 42 students and the extra large pizza with 12 slices will serve 12 out of the 42 students. These are our answer. But since we have the information here um, simplified, we have, we have 6 over 42 simplified to be 1 seventh. We can also simplify the rest of these, the rest of these fractions. So this fraction when simplified equals 4 over 21. These are the prime factors and you realize that the numbers are being divided by 2. This one when simplified equals 5 over 21. Again because these are the prime factors in the in the two two numbers, the numerator and the denominator. And you realize again that they are being divided by 2. This one when simplified it is 2 2 sevenths. And you realize that these two are being divided by 6. And it makes sense because 6 over 42 is 1 7. So 12 over 42 must be twice as big. It must be 2 7. So guys, you, you probably don't need to worry so much about these answers. Because this section here is the meat of the matter. This is what will show whether or not you understand the question that you are being asked to solve. Alright, so that's it for today guys. We have a ton of pep resources on our channel. We also have our summer series. Make sure you check that out. Alright, so have a good day guys and take care.